Okay, Sparky. I really miss the sound of my wood falling out of my planer. <laughs> Got to get the house started. Uh, All everything's still with the structural engineer, so we haven't got there yet. Oh, jeez. How long does that take? Yeah. Huh? How long does it take to get through structural? Apparently, it only takes about two weeks, but I thought I, I know I had sent them to him. He said he didn't get them, but oh. I checked on it last week. So probably another week, and then I got to update them. Then I got to go in for permit, but I got uh, whatever. Okay, this week's <laughs> tip of the week. Universal design in construction today. Huh. Universal design is the design of products and environments to be usable by all people to the greatest extent possible without the need for adaption or specialized design. Okay. You are, you're a UDCP, right? Yep. Yeah. So Ron is a UDCP. That's Universal Design Certified Professional. Yep. I did not take the test. I only read the book. Okay. Which works just about as well. It's just I don't have more letters after my name. But don't be careful. <laughs> so the antenna universal <laughs> design is a concept to simply simplify life for everyone by making more housing usable by more people at little or no extra cost. And so most people would be familiar with the uh, handicap accessibility rules, things like that. So this kind of takes it to a different level. Um, in the National Association of Home Builders, they call it the CAPS, right? Certified, certified Aging in Place. Correct. Which is basically almost the same thing. So what we're trying to do is design a house that you could buy. Let's say you're, tw well, you're not 20-something because you're too lazy at that point. You say 30-something <laughs> and you finally got a real job uh -huh. and you got took the money instead of the title. Right. So now you bought a house. Now, if you are going to build a house, if you build the house, what we're talking about universal design is we're going to design that home so that you could stay into it till you're in your 80s. Right. And how do you do that? Let me continue. <laughs> Page two. While accessible or adaptable design requirements are specified by codes or standards for only some buildings, they're aimed at benefiting only some people. That's the ADA, the Americans with Disabilities Act. You know, you ever go to a building, you got to press the button so the door opens automatically? Uh -huh. I never understood that because you got to roll your wheelchair back to get out the way of the door. Right. And before it hits. So you. some things are not laid out well. But then, you know, if you have a bathroom with the grab bars and the five-foot circle, okay, that is designed specifically for disabilities. Yep. But we can design the whole house so that it meets all of that criteria. It still does not cost any more to build. Right. So, for example, standard electrical except re electrical receptacles can be placed higher than usual above the floor. Standards 14 inches center. Yeah, 12. I, but I if you put 12. them at 24, if I was handicapped or physically challenged, at 24 I could reach them. Or if I was Aaron and had a bad back, I, I, yep. wouldn't, I, I could bend over. I wouldn't have to bend over as far. I think the one that really are, that I see more is the standard but wide standard but wider doors can be selected. So the I, house I'm building for myself, mm -hmm. I am not putting in anything less than a two ten door. Right. Well, and it should be and, a three zero, right? But it, well, you might as well, right? Yep. But it's amazing to me is how many the the standard was two foot four on closets, mm -hmm. two foot six on bathrooms and bedrooms. Yep. Which doesn't work for any kind of wheelchair a walker might get through there right but this is the kind of thing we're talking about a three oh eight foot door 36 inches our, wide. all our doors are eight foot tall because we have high ceilings yeah. but i want to say that's probably five dollars more yep so on the average home it'd be 35 dollars yep yep to and make it usable through your life and that six inches makes a big difference in a doorway when you're trying to get through there with a... With Ask any woman. Six inches makes a huge difference. So there you go. See? Right. So the building industries have responded and need to change for producing special products and spaces for special groups. But special is often synonymous with expensive. Mm -hmm. Specialization leads to complicated building standards. And this is why I don't like it in the building code. This is why you have to be an educated 
filter. <laughs> and then you just do this stuff because it's the right thing to do. Sure. Universal design succeeds because it goes beyond specialization. The concept promotes designing every product and building so that everyone can use them to the greatest extent possible. There you go. Hey, uh, we gotta, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. Zip is here. So we're going to talk to Zip after the, uh, after the break. And you need to send that to me because i got to do a speech on that coming up next month.